In this example, things have changed just a little bit. Now we've connected a hub to F1 slash 0 slash 20. And you can see here that host B has moved and made a connection into that hub. So essentially, they're on the same segment as A. And so A and B are both going to be seen in the MAC address database on switch 1 as being connected to F1 slash 0 slash 20. So when A tries to communicate with B, that hub, which is not a smart machine, it simply just copies the frame out of every interface. It's like a, having a physical connection. It sends it towards the switch and towards B at the same time. Well, now the question is, when the switch receives this frame, what does it do? Well, it looks at the destination, and the destination, as we can see here, is B. Well, we look at our MAC address database. Where do we see B? on the same interface where we heard this frame. So now we can make the decision not to forward and not to flood, but rather to filter. So there's no need for the switch to do anything with the frame. So it'll filter it. Nobody else will hear it because B already heard it. It's connected on that same segment and filtering was the decision that we took in this case. That is how a switch handles the three basic functions of forwarding, filtering, or flooding.